Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and like the video down below. Today we are at Animal Kingdom to check out what's new and maybe ride a few rides. Come join me. All right, here we are at Animal Kingdom. We are entering the park and there are people leaving the park. The park actually closes at 8 p.m. tonight. It is 3.34. I love this park. This is one of my favorite parks. There is a lot of people exiting the park right now, but we are going in the park. This is crazy. Pretty much everybody's exiting the park. So that means the park is going to be empty for us. You guys, the first animal that we see is a giant anteater, and there he is. He's curled up in a ball, and he's sleeping. Look at that. There he is. Hey, buddy. Better not wake him. Check this guy out. This is a Florida stork. There he is. There he goes. There it is. There is the tree of life. I love this park so much. This is one of my favorite parks. Check it out. Look at all the ducks. Look at all the birds. She's cleaning that. There's a lot more over here. And on this side, here are a lot of flamingos. Now the forecast says it's supposed to rain in about an hour. I brought my umbrella just in case. Since everybody is leaving, I think I want to go on Kilimanjaro safaris. I want to see how long the wait time is for that ride. the Kilimanjaro Safaris. Does that say Kilimanjaro Safari is a 10 minute wait? No way, that never happens. We're going on that right now. And just like that, we are almost on the ride. It literally took like five minutes. Next truck, so just hang out there. Are. We are on the safari. And it's an update, they still have the flexi west. Are about to close. They haven't gotten rid of that yet. All right, let's go. All right, driver, your doors are closed and you are on here. Uh, Sante Sano Warden, as we say here in Harambe, Twin Day. Twin Day does me. Let's go. All right, Jumbo, everybody, and welcome to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. My name is Dylan. I'm going to be your safari guide out here today. Who's ready to go on a safari? Awesome, that is what I like to hear. I make sure we stay seated at all times. Keep all hands, arms, feet, legs inside the vehicle. Keep your little ones on your lap or in their seats. We don't want to lift them up for any reason. And please be respectful. These are live animals in this. Is their home. We don't want to yell, shout, scream, whistle, whoop, holler, anything like that towards these animals. They do not like it very much. Other than that, we're going to have a fantastic time out here today. Raise your hand if it's your first time on Kilimanjaro Safari. All right, me too, me too. We're starting our adventure here today in the right, little Missouri forest that's known for its quiet and reclusive animals on the left there. up there. 
You'll see a couple of bongos. The one with the darker complexion is the male. The rest are female. Bongos have beautiful vertical stripes on their coat that act as a form of active camouflage, making them harder to see when they're moving rather than when they're standing still. On the right out there, you might have seen the Okapi. They've got a zebra-like pattern on their legs. However, they're actually one of the only living relatives of the giraffe. See that stork up there? And just Look a moment in. up here on the right, we're going to see a saddle-built stork. There's going to be one up on the left as well, and a little bit later. A saddle-built stork made for life. So these two are a pair. We can tell which one there the female is. is by a yellow ring around the them. I would like to say they're wearing eye makeup. So this one on the right right here is the female. You can see that bright yellow eye. The male that'll be up here on the left will have a brown ring around their eyes, so it will not be as defined. They also have a wingspan that is as wide as the canopy above your head, about nine feet wide. Crocodile, pinkback pelicans, and if we're lucky, a hippo. There's actually a hippo swimming under the water there on wow, the right. There is. There's two they are them. nocturnal animals. They can hold their breath for up to eight minutes at a time, so sleeping under the water is their favorite activity, but sometimes they're awake and moving around. If we're lucky, we'll see some up on the left as well. Always a little bit harder to see them out here, but looks like that's going to hold true today. There are some pinkback pelicans, though, swimming around in the water. And on the island there, the pinkback pelicans are going to develop a pink back during mating season, which allows them to attract a mate. They can be found in colonies of up to 500 pairs at a time in the wild. Means you can find about a thousand pinkback pelicans in one reserve. gallons of water in their trunks. Animals that have sharp tusks and horns can pierce the trunk of a baobab tree in order to get the water that they need during the dry season or drought. A baobab tree can hold close to 30,000 gallons of water in their trunk. The they giraffes, the but they are very beautiful, so we'll want to silently enjoy these beautiful animals here to our left. The Maasai giraffe are going to stand about 16 to 20 feet tall. They are the tallest land animal on the planet. They have a tongue that's almost 18 inches long, which is almost as long as your forearm. It is a dark color to an area called Monkey Point, but you'll see an African elephant out there to the right. The African elephant is going to weigh close to two tons. It's going to have ears that have hundreds of blood vessels inside of them. Whenever they flap their ears back and forth, they can cool down their body by up to 15 degrees or more. It's very impressive. I like to call it ear conditioning. I see some more elephants up here on the right. That'll probably be the same one, but just from a different angle. Not the best angle, but a pretty great view. Elephants are incredibly impressive animals and very intelligent. A lot of people don't know how intelligent elephants are, but they are incredibly intelligent. In fact, all of our elephants know their names. We never say their names over the speaker system because we don't want to confuse the animals. They're also one of the only other animals in the world besides us that has what's known as self-awareness. That means that whenever an elephant actually looks into a mirror, it can recognize that it's looking at itself. That was such an awesome safari ride. It was a little rocky though. Sorry about the footage. But now we are going to Gorilla Falls to see some gorillas. Well, that's a bummer. They just said Gorilla Falls is closed because of lightning in the area. Now we're gonna go into the Mombasa Marketplace to see what's new. They have a whole bunch of Lion King stuff. They have these new Lion King sweatshirts. Why is everything a sweatshirt here at Disney? It's super hot outside. How much are they? This is $44.99. I like this Akuma Matata shirt. It's really cool. How much is this shirt? It is $29.99. Disney's getting kind of ridiculous with the prices. They have this gold 50th anniversary Simba statue here. Is there a price on him? He is no price, but I think they are $100. They have this cool tree of life playset here. Here is it open. This is cool. It's got little figures of elephants and zebras and lions. Here they have this Mickey radio control safari truck. This is cool. How much is this one? This is $25.
Oh, check it out. Kevin's out. Thank you. Well, if you're looking for advice on how to make Kevin be your best friend, if you have any berries and or fish actively upon your person, uh, Kevin will be your best friend for all of until they're gone, which is about three seconds. Oh, hello, Kevin. How are you? You do. You do? No, you do. I do. I absolutely do not speak words. Kevin, what's up? No, I need to speak words. I don't speak Kevin's dialect. I need someone to speak Kevin's dialect of words. Well, and that's going to do it for this video today. That was a great day in Animal Kingdom. I can't believe we saw Kevin at the very last minute. That safari ride was awesome. It was only a 10-minute wait. That never happens. It's usually a 75-minute wait or a 60-minute wait. If this is your first time here for the channel, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.